What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So for those of you that are not aware of our other channel, my, my main channel that I do all of my stuff on is called Dylan Talks Tone. And um, it's it's guitar stuff. We record, you know, we've got guitars hanging here and all this kind of stuff. But I want to go over a, a desk tour today only because what we do on the other channel is pretty involved. And so over the years, we've kind of refined this whole setup to do what I wanted to do because I don't have a lot of room, you know, so um, it's kind of a multi-purpose situation, but really it comes down to video editing and working on the website as well as recording music. So there's all kinds of little things that happen just in this small space. So for efficiency's sake, uh, we've, you know, like I said, we've got it set up pretty well. All I'm going to do is uh, show you as much of this uh, as I can. If you have specific questions about various parts of the setup, please do me a favor and put it in the comments below. Also down in the description of the video will be links to as many of these things as I can find as possible so that if you want to try them for your setup, uh, you can do so. Um, so i tell you what we'll do is let's just go ahead and go through it. Um, first of all, I guess we could talk about the computer. So the computer is M2 MacBook Pro, uh, 14 inch, I think. Um, and it, it's fine. It's great. The, the main piece of software we use is Final Cut Pro. Um, and that's for video editing and believe it or not, for all of the audio stuff, like recording videos and uh, re recording, um, guitar tracks and stuff, I just use GarageBand. So I keep it super simple. Um, when it comes to the computer, uh, I just recently got the proper Apple display. Now, a lot of people would say it's a waste of money, but I will tell you that as soon as I got it, my life was changed. And the main reason is because when we edit photos and edit video, having a good color and good, you know, something I could rely on color wise. I tried a couple other monitors that just sucked and I took them back. Um, and I just said, screw it, I'm not messing around. And I got this thing. Uh, it also has a camera built into it, it has speakers built into it. I don't use the speakers very often, but we do Zoom Hangouts on Patreon. And so that monitor has kind of solved all of those problems and purposes for me. So I really, really like that monitor. Um, with the computer, uh, I'm using the wireless uh, Apple keyboard, which I really like. Uh, I have no issue with it. I do have a lightning cable hidden back here so that I can charge my phone and also so that when my uh, keyboard starts to die, I can plug it in and charge it back up. Um, I did not stick with the Apple mouse. I think it's terrible. Um, so we have, this is the Logitech, uh, I can never remember the name of this. Oh, MX Master 3 for Mac, and it is phenomenal. Um, I like it because I can scroll sideways and up and down and zoom in and out. And again, for uh, negotiating timelines and such, such like that for editing video, that is a fantastic piece of equipment and it works very, very good. The battery lasts forever. Um, really good and you it's totally wireless I don't have to use a dongle with it none of that kind of stuff and it works flawlessly with the computer I should say that I have the first second monitors set up so that I can do whatever I need to do with that it's fantastic and then the other kind of uh, peripheral for control that I have is a loop deck CT um, this was a kind of a little extravagant when I first got it. I was like, eh, it's a gadget that I think is really cool, but I almost returned it. But over time, what I've found is that I really, really like using it, especially for Final Cut and um, for like Photoshop and for Lightroom because there are plugins for this thing and I can use the shuttle. Um, I have single click capability for various um, editing uh, situations, for color grading, for all that kind of stuff. I really, really, really like this thing a lot. It works very well and it saves me a lot of keystrokes and time while I'm editing video. Uh, so it has streamlined my process quite a bit. 
The last couple things computer-wise is going to be uh, to record. We have the Focusrite 18i8 um, USB interface. Now, what I like about the Focusrite is there's all kinds of connectivity here. So, um, as you see in the front of it now, we have um, the quarter inch that goes to my Tonex pedal board. For those of you that are not familiar with this stuff, you can gloss over that part. But for those of you that are guitar people, um, I have a pedal board down there with the Tonex on it, and this quarter inch jack goes to that so that um, we can just plug in and play to that. If we pick this other input, then it comes over here to the Fender Tone Master Princeton. Um, and those are the two amps that we are currently using to do all of our recording and stuff. And that has been working very, very well. If I had a Kemper, we could go spit if we could do all kinds of things with it. And I really, really like it. It also powers my, or doesn't power, but it send it sends, um, signal to my JBL 305 powered monitors so that when I'm mixing and editing, I have good sound. Um, it works great. I've got two headphone amps coming out of there as well. And so for headphone wise, we're using the AKG K371. These are not expensive. Uh, in fact, these are about on the way out. I've had these for years. Um, they're not expensive, but they just give me a flat, consistent sound. It, they're, they're, it's, they're just basic. I just need a good, basic set of headphones. Um, and, and that's what they do. They, they work really, really well. So that's the computer setup. The only other thing that's kind of peripheral to that is we have a Dymo 4XL printer over there, which when we are doing order fulfillment for Dylan Tox Tone for all of our pickups, that's what we use to print labels because this is also all of our inventory control and everything. So this desk wears a lot of hats. Um, on the desk, we also have, um, that's my helmet. If you've ever heard the story about me breaking my back, uh, that's the helmet that saved my life. So it sits over there and it is very sacred to me. Um, we also have a couple of these tube lights that we use for filler light and uh, I'll, th you can make them into white light also. So like if you, uh, I think if you, I can't remember what you do here. Yeah, so you can click it into white light, you can click it into colored light. Um, it's got a little tripod on the bottom. I've got a couple of these that we use for shooting video and for shooting stills and for shooting um, well, all kinds of stuff really. Um, back filling for videos and that kind of thing. We use those a lot. And then uh, let's see, what else have we got here? The other thing is we've got, uh, of course, I always have a pen around and I have a notepad down here that I use for everything. Um, my Ember coffee cup, I have to tell you, the chargeable coffee cup that keeps your coffee warm all morning while you get sidetracked doing other things <laughs> is fantastic. I absolutely love it. Uh, the other thing we have is down here with all of our internet and router stuff. This is really getting into the weeds, but we do have a UPS. So once we, we'll do a, a desk uh, tour of Leslie's setup as well, but uh, from her more than me, we cannot lose internet uh, if we can at all help it because of her job and what she does. Um, it's very critical. So our internet router and all of our internet stuff is on a UPS that if the power goes out, we can run for like two hours. Um, so we don't lose internet because we're both working off of laptops so we can still continue to work. So it's, it's very helpful. You, of course you lose your monitor and everything else, but you can work off of your laptop. So it's pretty cool. And we got some other little odds and ends sitting around here. I've got a candle up there that makes it smell like an old barn here. If I want to, I've got my, uh, Kenny Wayne Shepherd miniature guitar, and then of course all of our other guitars and all that kind of stuff that we have for other stuff. So there you go. Um, little workflow, little workspace look into what we've got here. There you go. There's a little desk tour. If you have any questions about it, if you want to know anything more about it, let me know. If you want me to dive into anything specific on here, we can do that. Um, we are also going to do another video specifically about our live streaming setup. I'm going to set up our live streaming setups, what we use on Thursday nights, 
and I'm gonna share that with you in a separate video so that you know uh, what we're doing there because it's, it's pretty cool, um, but it's also pretty attainable as well. So there you go. Thanks for hanging out and we will see you in the next video. Oh yeah, like and subscribe and stuff. We're gonna try to show you as much stuff as we can because it's about the time we get to show you all this stuff, we're gonna change it all up. So anyway, thanks for hanging out and we'll see you soon.